Welcome back for build challenge number two. Today we're going to be lifting some weights with a rope and pulley mechanism. And to do that, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some string and you're going to need some pulleys and you're going to need something to use as a spool and something to use as your winch and your crank. So string is going to be real obvious. You can use basically anything that's around your house. Doesn't matter if it's a real Lego string. Pulley just needs to be anything that you can guide and control the string with. And if you're not clear on what that might be, maybe check out the other video on pulleys. Your spool is going to be something that can wind up your rope. So if this is my rope and this is my spool, when my spool turns, it's going to wind up the excess rope, which is going to lift the weight off the ground as the rope is collected into the spool. And if you don't have any pulleys, I'll just quickly suggest that you can easily make some out of all kinds of different Lego parts. You can throw together a radar dish, a one by one round, and a two by two round tile with a hole in it to make a nice little pulley mechanism that could run a rope. And you can also use this as a spool. If I open it up, toss the end of the rope into the hole, pinch it back down underneath the brick, I now have a nice spool that can wind up a rope. And we can do this on a bigger scale as well with four by four rounds and two by two bricks. You can also consider using the hubs from the inside of tires as both spools and pulleys and lots of different sizes might work. And if you really don't have any of this stuff, you can also try and come up with something else. So here's a little takeout food container from my recycling bin. Uh, if I get some parental help to punch a couple of holes in the top and bottom, you can see I've hot glued an extra lid to the underside of it. I could then stab something like a chopstick or even a Technic axle all the way through that in order to make myself a little pulley or a spool. And as far as the string goes, I could hot glue gun that directly on there, or I could punch a little hole and tie it into the hole. If you don't have any of those around, try going to the sewing kit. You might find a perfect little bobbin that can be again used as a pulley or a spool, or maybe a couple of lids out of your recycling bin that you can hot glue together to make something. It shouldn't be too hard to come up with something to manage your rope. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the winch and the crank because that's an important part of this mechanism. So here I've got a really old Lego uh, winch set up. So there's a spool in the middle here and there's a nice little crank arm here that you can turn in order to wind up the rope or let the rope out. And if I tug on this, you can probably hear that little bit of a grinding noise because this mechanism has friction across the axle so that it's difficult to take the rope out. That means that when you have weight on the end, the weight doesn't just fall to the ground easily. It's got a little bit of friction so that it can support the weight. So if I wanted to build uh, a spool and crank mechanism out of just some regular Lego Technic pieces, if I didn't have one, I might start with a couple of four by four rounds and two by two round. And if I pass a piece of string through here, place a round 4x4 plate on the other end and one on that end, you can see that I've pinched the string in two different places. And without even tying a knot, that's probably strong enough to pick up quite a bit of weight. So now I just need to build some kind of a mechanism that's going to serve as my crank. And this could be built out of just about anything, but I'll just make a quick example here that if I use this little box and if I throw an axle through the middle of my spool here, and that's difficult because there's a string in there too, but that's okay. And then I attach that axle to my box. And then at this end, I might create myself a little handle that I can easily turn at one end. That you can turn to quickly and easily wind up your rope. Now you'll notice that I don't have any friction on this. So if I wind up my rope to pick up some weight, as soon as I have even the tiniest bit of weight on there, it all just falls right back down. 
So one of the easy ways to add friction to a mechanism like this is to use a Technic friction pin. If I add a 16 tooth gear to a friction pin and then add a second gear right in here beside the one that has friction, right away my mechanism is going to turn with friction because this gear is turning this gear and this gear is turning the friction pin. So now I have a lot more resistance on my mechanism and if I tug on this rope it doesn't come out nearly as easily and my mechanism can lift weight. Okay, so that's enough for spools and winches and pulleys. I think you've got the idea and I'll link a few videos that you can check out if some of that didn't make sense. So I'm going to bring in my Lego tower crane here. This is one of my favorite sets that I've always got built and I'll just quickly talk about a few of the components here um, on the tower crane set. So if I add a little bit of weight onto the hook here, you'll see that that weight is supported on two lines from the same piece of rope. And that piece of rope starts here at the end of the crane. It goes over a redirect pulley here, over another redirect pulley here, over this pulley that gives mechanical advantage at the hook, and into the spool and winch mechanism at the back. And when I turn that mechanism one way, the rope is collected onto the spool and the load goes up. And when I turn in the other direction, the rope is released and the load goes down. Now I've marked this with a 50 gram sticker because this weight here weighs 50 grams. And in a mechanism like this with mechanical advantage, there are two lines supporting the weight. So the weight is distributed evenly and 25 grams of weight are being supported by each line. And again, I'll link another video that'll talk a little bit more about mechanical advantage. So with those basics established, let's go into our build challenge. Today's challenge is to build a mechanism with a rope and spool that can lift a weight. Could be a block of Lego, could be anything else. Um, in the easy version of this challenge, you're going to build a relatively simple mechanism. And that mechanism has to have at least two things. It has to have at least one redirect pulley so that the weight is being lifted and the rope is being redirected to a spool and a winch mechanism. And that's the second thing that's going to be essential in your build, is having some kind of a spool and winch mechanism that can wind up your rope. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have Lego to build this. You can build the whole mechanism underneath a chair, underneath a coffee table, or you can build a big arch out of Lego pieces, whatever you want. The important thing is that you've got a redirect pulley and a spool. And for those who want to do the more difficult challenge, we'll call it the medium challenge, you're going to have a mechanical advantage pulley as well as your redirect and your spool mechanism. And that mechanical advantage pulley is going to give you a mechanical advantage of two to one or greater if you want to make it more complicated for yourself. And then in the hard version of this challenge, you're going to do all of those things as well as having some kind of mechanism that allows your load to move back and forth. So the key thing here is going to be that your crane mechanism can pick up a load move the load and bring the load back down to the ground after it's tracked it across. And that's the difficult version of this challenge. So have fun building and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.